Okay, we have here a video. It's just a descriptive video of a uh, year 2000 Toyota uh, Camry with a 2.2 uh, engine in it. Um, the problem I had with this was uh, the thermostat, which is located uh, just here below the um, the regulator. Um, it, it had a uh, it, it sprung a leak okay so it was sort of dripping out here and the reason for that was this gasket here it uh, failed um, and what I did was I got the original one off the uh, the original um, thermostat and I put some silicon around it and I waited uh, 24 hours and uh, then it seems fine so this is the original uh, thermostat I think it's uh, 180 degrees. I don't know if you can read any of that. Okay, I'll just rotate that around. And I've got uh, I've got a cooler one, but it hardly makes any difference to the running temperature of the uh, of the car. Okay, so that's the original thermostat. Um, the the thermostat that I bought came with its own uh, seal, but unfortunately, it's not really a very good seal. So, in this part, you know, usually both sides have like a a groove that the um, gasket uh, sits in. However, this has a groove this black part on this car is plastic but the mating surface to the engine has no groove it's just a flat surface and um, what you'll have to do is just smear some uh, silicon just get the silicon uh, that's that's what I used uh, heat resistant uh, silicon or high temperature uh, silicon. If I can just get that to focus a little bit. There we go. Okay, and uh, that's what the silicon looks like. It's got a very hard texture to it, and uh, seems good quality. Okay, and you just get it and smear it, smear it around uh, the edge here, and on the front, and on the back. Just a little bit, not too much. So that's how the silicon, that's how the gasket goes, just around that that edge there. And the gasket has got a little sort of like a groove in the middle of it. So you might be able to see that's got like a um, type of a groove in the middle there. It's turned inside out. Okay. So that's flat. So just get the silicon and smear it around either side and the front there. And that's going to save you a whole lot of bother. Um, this isn't a very good um, gasket, it's got a, a very small fine type of um, edge to it here. Just trying to get that to focus but it uh, won't seem to focus. The other one has a big sort of a flat surface along uh, either side. So this is a type of silicon as I said before I think. Okay. So that's that was the main problem. That's uh, that's the one I put in it. It seems to be working okay, but they didn't supply a very good quality um, uh, gasket there. It's just it's got to do with the mating edge. The the mating edge on either side needs to be flat. So um, okay, let's go through these notes now. Um, don't worry too much about my scribble. I'll I'll explain all this, but just um, it's very rough and off the cuff. But I don't really have time now to um, to document everything. But if you're going to attempt this work, um, these notes might help. Okay, I might repeat myself a few times here. But however, again, I did put silicon on the gasket. It goes around the uh, 
thermostat. Um, so what you'll do is you've put the thermostat on, you've waited 24 hours for the uh, silicon to dry. Um, do this sort of work on a weekend or a long weekend. If it's the weekend, you do it. You'd start on a Saturday in case things didn't go too well. You'd have Sunday to uh, to get the things you need. So you put the silicon on the gasket. You got your um, thermostat in. Then what you'll do is you'll need to flush out the system. So turn on the uh, the heater and fill it up with water. Okay, and as, as the cooling system takes the water, keep on adding and then you'll put uh, water in the uh, reservoir here, fill it right up. When it starts to warm up, put the cap on and it'll pressurise, okay? But now keep supplying the, uh, the liquid. Um, yeah, once you've got all the liquid in the radiator and won't take any more, then you make sure you supply the, the liquid here. Um, allow it to warm up and pressurise and then you'll see any leaks. Well the leak will be here if, you, if you're just replacing the thermostat and um, hopefully everything will go okay because you've used uh, silicon been on the safe, safe side. Then you'll drain that out, um, fill it up again, drain it out. You might do it for a third time because I flushed mine out three times and it did have residue from the, uh, the previous uh, coolant. You may as well put new coolant in because uh, there's no point in putting the old coolant in. You may as well take the opportunity and, uh, you know, use new coolant. I, um, I used period correct uh, green, this green coolant. It did have pink coolant in it. I personally use 100%. I don't dilute it. Um, I've been doing that for years, and it seems to be a, a good idea. The uh, the test strips. I used this uh, test strip on the uh, on the original coolant. The original pink coolant was good. However, this is a test strip. There. Um, just trying to get that to focus. Uh, this is a test strip that was uh, put in here. You just put it in for one second and take it out. And as you can, might be able to see there, this the, the first bit lines up with that type of colour there. It could, have, could even be darker. There we go. We've got some focus now. Okay. So it's darker than that. And that goes lighter. Well, this is... Uh, better quality down here and this is darker than that the, the second one there is darker than that so we can see here that you know that's pretty good quality plus it has a when you get it on your fingers it has a bit of a lubricating um, effect and that would be good for the water pump okay so that's what I do I'm not telling you to do it you have to make your own decision um, I can only tell you what I personally what I do okay so I just pour that straight in um, you'll need this is what was left over for a uh, Toyota Camry um, this is six liters it's got six liters written there um, and that's how much I've got left over well you want some left over because you'll be topping up and you know, if things don't go your way, it's better to have two, better to have one spare, okay? Okay. Yeah, so the heater on, keep adding the water and um, to the radiator, then pressurise it, keep supplying it there until you have your, um, your old, most of your old coolant out. I suppose it doesn't really matter if there's a little bit left in. And of course, you wouldn't add your, uh, your new coolant until you've uh, pressurised it and made sure there's no leaks anywhere. So before you start it up, you'd put as much uh, uh, water, if you're flushing, um, water in the radiator and the coolant as you could get. Uh, when I drained my coolant system, 3 litres, 850 mils came out. Okay. Um, when, when you've done your test or when you're flushing, um, uh, you can drain the uh, the coolant, but allow your your engine 
to cool down before you put any new coolant or water in there okay so it's got to do with a bit like a hot glass okay if you if you got it out of the fridge out of the freezer and then you poured boiling water into it the glass will crack okay so allow your engine to cool it'll take one hour and 15 minutes um, this is summer here at the moment um, for it to cool and then you put your, uh, your coolant if you finished your work or if you're still flushing your water you put your water in after allowing it to cool for one hour and 15 minutes as I say I flushed uh, my system out you know every time I supply the water um, I bring it up to operating temperature and pressure and then I drain it I did that three times before I put my coolant in and there was still uh, residue in the uh, in the engine um, don't hit your hand here uh, what I do is I put a lot of sort of like um, rags or a little bit of rag around the uh, the cap and around here around the top here just in case I spill the uh, the coolant onto the uh, onto the engine but uh, uh, when you start up don't get the rags don't get any rags around your fan belt down don't allow any coolant or water to get into the electrical fan down here okay and number one wear gloves because you're working around here if you hit your hand on this fan here it's going to hurt okay and it'll take some bark off you'll probably see that there I was wearing uh, PVC gloves and, uh, and that saved me so this is all I can get these days but it, uh, it, it saved my skin now I travel 95 kilometers to work and back each day and after doing that uh, twice I've still added a little bit to the reservoir okay the reservoir has not become um, empty but I've added say that that much in total and that's because um, you know you probably I'm not really sure how to do it but um, there must be a, a you know a water uh, sorry an air an air pocket somewhere that um, slowly slowly goes out you probably should look into how to get rid of that uh, that air pocket you know it could be I can't I can't find anything but it could be something like you undo one of these I don't I don't really like to do that um, unless I have to because you know if uh, you know if when it goes back in it springs a leak then there's problems okay you know you could get some Teflon if you had problems with a leak you could get Teflon and and put it around the thread but uh, I don't really like to do any unnecessary work you know I'm not I'm not saying that that's what you have to do to get rid of any air pockets um, maybe you don't do anything at all maybe you just uh, keep on topping it up the mark is just there that's the full mark on the uh, on the reservoir on my notes it says uh, 156 I begin began to pressurize the uh, the cooling system I turned the engine off at 217 so it's a little bit more than 15 minutes say 20 minutes for the uh, for the engine to pressurize well you need it to pressurize to to look for any leaks at your uh, at the join here for your thermostat okay so main points are uh, when you put in your new thermostat make sure that this this tag here is up the top when you install it that has to be at the top uh, that lets air in and out allows air to uh, flow out to um, to go out of the uh, cooling system you'll have to use some silicon around your gasket it may not necessarily need to be this um, high temperature uh, gasket maker but I keep some of this on hand I'll, I'll replace this now that I've uh, taken the top off this is uh, this has really saved me because it's a long way for me to go to shop so um, well worth the uh, the money it's not cheap about 20 something dollars um, you'll need uh, six liters say five liters might be you might be getting a little bit close to running out 
of your chosen coolant and whether it be diluted or undiluted that's uh, that's your choice flush the old um, coolant out uh, especially if it's uh, two different types like you can get the pink sort and the green sort if the previous was green you may not need to do the flushing work I had to do you'll need to um, allow 24 hours for the uh, silicon to dry don't hit your fingers on the fan um, don't uh, keep supplying liquid to the cooling system as the engines heating up and uh, pressurizing do a test drive before you drive to work or drive any distance okay I went for a fairly long uh, fairly big test drive with this that's when you finished your work just to make sure there's not going to be any issues because uh, if, if your engine overheats that's the end of your engine keep your reservoir um, full and then fill it up you know you can you can take uh, coolant out of that if you go to the shop and get yourself one of these you know you you push this down and then you bring it out and it sucks out some you keep doing that until you you got it at the right level so that'll be a good tool to have you'll need some of these containers where you've got uh, measurements of how much is in it you'll need that to know how much uh, came out so how much you'll have to put back in and uh, they're good for tipping uh, water and coolant into uh, into the radiator and reservoir uh, I've got an assortment of you know different funnels uh, big and small if you don't have all the tools uh, and experience go to a mechanic and have him uh, hopefully not rip you off and uh, and get him to do it because it's just not worth the stress and worry okay he'll no doubt have a uh, you know an alternative type of silicon what he does he'll probably get the right you'll know what to do he'll get the right uh, gasket if you like if you know like hopefully okay in the interest of keeping this video as short as possible uh, I hope I haven't gone over the same issue too many times but I've just gone over a few things that I've con that I consider to be important okay I hope this helps out I hope this reaches you before um, you know because you need to know about the uh, the gasket um, so you know I hope this video helps thank you